Hello nieces, hello nephews, it's your Uncle Charles here and welcome back to my YouTube channel where we do unbiased price action analysis. And after giving us the false breakdown setup on Thursday, yesterday on Friday, SPY showed some follow through and gave us some more upside, breaking out some more resistant levels. But the big level that, I, the big level that I'll be watching for Monday is that 20 daily moving average spy got within a few cents of testing it the 20 day moving average is around 405.18 on friday it could change on monday all right so keep an eye on it but definitely will be a critical level that i will be watching if spy can clear that 20 daily moving average then this rally continues okay around 405 clear 405 and that will put the 23.6 fib level in play around 408 okay and if it can clear 408 i would be bullish targeting more upside we got a lot of areas of liquidity up above all right i'll be watching a trend line right here boom so if 408 can clear i'll definitely be watching 410 if 410 can clear we got some liquidity around 413 and then up above around 415 uh, I'm definitely be watching the 414 level as well. That's the 50% Fib level from all time high down to October low. And then of course the previous pivot high from February high at 418.3. Okay. So those are levels that I'll be watching if SPY can clear the 20 daily moving average. Okay. The bull case scenario starts or continues if SPY can clear 405. All right, RSI is not overbought just yet, so SPY does have a little more energy to break up and give us a little bit more upside. How high? We will see. We don't want to call a top. This rally will end when we get a false breakout setup. So don't get bearish on me until SPY gives us reasons to be bearish. We need to see support levels fail. Okay? So the support that I'm watching, if we can't break 405, I'll definitely be watching 404. All right, SPY did close at 404.19, so it's not a strong breakout of the 404 level, but I'll definitely be watching 404. Below 404 will be the 38.2 FIB level at 401.68. We can give it a zone 405, uh, 401.5 to 402, but below 401.5, my green trend line is at 400 now, okay? We also cleared the, the green trend line that I had. So if we break below 400, that's a false breakout of the green trend line. And we can see more downside. There's a gap around 398-ish. And then there's a support at 396.5, 395. And of course, that critical pivot low uh, around 393 to 393.5 is that defended this past week okay the 200 daily moving average is it is around 393 still so definitely watch that 393 to 393.5 zone okay so let's try to simplify this guys spy is in rally mode and is clearing resistance stay bullish and assume that the rally continues until or unless we get a false breakout setup okay that means I need to see the 38.2 FIB level break back down. SPY can always pull back and test that, that zone or that level to give us the, the level's row reversal. As a resistant turn into a support is bullish. So if it, can, if it back tests as a support and we see buying pressure and it bounces and clears another resistant level, that's pretty bullish in my opinion, okay? But if it breaks back down, Below 41.5 and especially 400, my green trend line, that will be bearish in my opinion. False breakout setup. So don't try to call a top. Let the top reveal itself with the trade setup. The false breakout trade setup. All right? The bull case continues if it can clear 405 20 daily moving average. All right? I'm going to assume that bulls are in control right now as long as above 401.68. That means... It needs to hold as support on any pullback. So if it pull back and it bounces, need to see it hold. No closes below that level means no reason to be bearish 
at least for the short term, okay? I just want you guys to get in, you know, get a good setup, get a good entry, and make your money. That's why I give you guys these levels and setups and these tactics that I like to do personally myself, okay? So, you guys got my levels? Trade them unbiasedly. Triple Q here. Also, I'm also watching that 20 daily moving average, which right now was at 300. If Triple Q can recapture that 300 level, 302.3, and then I got this trend line at 303.6 would be in play. A breakout of this trend line would be pretty bullish in my opinion, and I would be targeting 308. All right, so above 300, I'm bullish. If, if bears can step up at 300, I need to see support fail, okay? 298 and uh 295 take out 298 support and 295 i would think the rally is over okay give us that false breakout setup give us some support levels failures of support levels then i would favor that the rally is over below 295 would be 292 and 290.7 to 290 zone 200 daily moving averages around 290 so a break below 290 would be bearish I would favor a test of the 50-day, which is around 286.8. It could slope up to 287. Definitely watch out for that level. And, of course, below the 50, I would target 284 and 281.5, okay? So, above 300, the rally continues. 298 and 295 fail. The rally most likely is over, Okay? IWM actually did cl uh, close above the 20 daily moving average, okay? It's been said that IWM, IWM leading rallies and leading downtrends are, are healthy, okay? So right now, unlike SPY and Triple Q, IWM cleared the 20, okay? So is it, we definitely got to watch out if it's a false breakout. So the 20 is at 191. If, if IWM breaks below 191, we could go back down and test 190. And 187.6 and 185.7 ish. Okay, now if 191 holds, I need to see it break out this resistance level that I've been watching at 191.7, and that would put 193.5 to 194 zone in play with 196 and 199 above. Okay, uh, Apple is closed right around that 20 daily moving average. Okay, and it managed to close above my 150.6 resistant level. That level is now support. So if it can hold, stay above that level, 153.5 and 155 are in play, okay? If it breaks back below 150.6, watch that support at 149. If 149 fails, 146.7 and 143.5 is just back in play, all right? Below... 149 then the rally is likely over in my opinion okay but it'll need to stay above that 20 daily moving average which is around 150.6 or 150.7 ish all right it is uh it aligns with my one of my levels and here's tesla now tesla got a rejection it tested that 20 daily moving average and it found selling pressure all right so to change this on Monday, it's going to have to clear that 199 resistant level. And that 20 daily uh, moving average is at 280.88. So we'll round it to 201. So Tesla's going to need to clear and get above 201. Maybe we can back test this orange trend line, which is around uh, 205.6s. Okay, the orange trend line started from January low, okay? So back test of that. Trend line will be around 205.5 to 206 zone. Above 206 zone could be bullish, guys, with 211.5, 214, and 217.5 back in play, okay? Let's take a look at some inverses. Uh, yeah, VIX continues to be bearish, showing some follow-through to the downside. Now, watch out for this, this pivot low over here. All right, this pivot low back from mid-February, okay? If it's going to be a double, a double bottom, VIX got to show follow through by bouncing, all right? Watch that 19.5 level and, of course, 21.2. Clear those levels. This double bottom could actually mean something. If not, and 18 fails, we could see 17 and 15.5-ish would, uh, would be in play, okay, for the VIX. DXY is still basing and consolidating. Will it go base to the upside or will it just drop to the downside? Remains to be seen, okay? 
But the level that I need to, I'll be watching is 104.1. As long as that support holds, I'm going to assume that DXY is basing for more upside with 105.5 and 106.9 would be my target. But if 104.1 fails, that would be a bearish sign for the DXY. Okay, a bearish DXY and a bearish VIX could be bullish for the SPY and vice versa. So definitely watch that 104.1 level. Okay, now option flow filter for 500k premiums above. SPY is showing 77% in the calls right now. We don't often see this, guys. We don't often see this where SPY is with the calls for SPY is higher than the puts for SPY. All right, but today for Friday actually it it, it it was, and what we see here some very aggressive moves here. Um, we'll start with the earlier ones. Okay, this is a sweep order. It came around one o'clock, April twenty first is the expiration date. Four thirty four strike price, one point two million in premium over thirteen thousand in size. This one over five hundred k premium over eight thousand in size. Four twenty seven strike price, March thirty first. This one over sixteen thousand. 16,000 in size, over 900K in premium, 428 strike price, okay? Very aggressive plays that came in after 1 o'clock. Now, these came in around power hour, okay? 422 strike price, over 9,000 in size. This one, a 420 and a 418 strike price, over 5,000 and 7,000 in size. Big money is bet into the upside, and they're bullish for the end of March for some reason. What do they know? What is making them put their money into calls right now for the end of March? I have no idea. Okay? But that's why we do the price action. We're just going to follow the levels unbiasedly. Triple Q, this one is not bu uh, bullish. It's mostly in puts, okay? Uh, the ones that do stick out to me, not much that sticks out to me. That meets my criteria. But the one that does is the sweep order over 1.1 million in premium over 9,000 size 283 strike price for puts for March 17th. Okay, now there is one for calls here March 17th, 310 strike price over 8,000 size, a million dollars in premium. Okay, but for the rest, we are getting uh, mostly puts. All right, uh, IWM 97% into puts. So holy moly, look at this one. Sweep order, 1.8 million in premium, 25,000 in size, 175 strike price for the end of March. So what we're seeing on what we saw on SPY, we are not seeing on Triple Q and IWM. Okay. But man, these are really aggressive plays. Look at this one. Over 7,000 in size, 170 strike price for April 21st. Okay, these are very aggressive plays too. The downside, okay? Apple, 56% for Apple, nothing that really sticks out. Tesla, 59% for Tesla in the puts. This one definitely sticks out right here. 2.3 million premium over 7,000 in size, 135 strike price for May. So somebody is very bearish on the Tesla right now. And let's end this with the VIX. And there you have it, guys. Nothing for VIX, okay? So I appreciate you guys watching. Thank you guys so much for your support. If you want more content from Uncle Chartis, please consider joining the Discord. Other than that, enjoy the rest of your weekend. Peace.